Hello everybody uh, and welcome back to another video of Talking Scottish Football episode 4. Uh, today's episode is going to be about Steve Robinson resigning from Motherwell after uh, he's been at a club for quite a while now, I think three years. And I'll update it now in the next clip. So Stevie Robinson resigned from Motherwell today. It was quite shocking considering how bad they've been in the past couple of weeks. Obviously they did have a shock result to Kelly in the past couple. Uh, they had a shock result to Kelly in uh, their last uh, game. And then they had the 1-0 draw with um, Dundee United. 0-0 at Aber uh, Aber uh, versus Aberdeen in good and then they've obviously had a bad run of form from there and this mainly stems from their six games and uh, especially in November and half of December uh, they, they obviously in their games uh, they'll, they'll, this is where the downhill started they lost 4-1 to Celtic in uh, November they then drew one each to St Johnston and then they went out the League Cup to St Johnston in their game after that. The game after that, they lost 3 nothing to Hibs at home. The game after that, uh, they got a short result and was beaten 1-0 by St Mirren at home. Then they lost 3-1 to Rangers at Ibrox. Then drew 0-0 to Motherwell and to Aberdeen, sorry. And then uh, drew one each with Dundee United before losing 2-0 at Kilmarnock. Big couple games coming up in their next few as well. Especially a big one on Saturday, a Lanarkshire Derby. It's a massive game. They're playing Hamilton considering both sides are like neck on neck in the table. And I suppose, I guess it was Steve Robinson. He hasn't done the job and he hasn't done what he's supposed to be done. He... He had a third place side last season and this season his club has collapsed and they're sitting in 10th with 17 points from 19 games which really really isn't good enough. Um, their game after Hamilton is also a relegation battling side St Mirren away who they lost 1-0 to in their previous game and then they play Rangers on the 17th. Then after that, they'll play Aberdeen, which is another massive game. And then they have relegation battling Ross County on the last uh, game in January on the 27th. Massive game coming up for Motherwell, especially considering how long is till the end of the season. And will they have enough to be saved? Obviously, they are sitting right now with no wins in the past five and just the two draws and three losses have been very poor only rot they are right now they are sitting f uh, two points off the bottom of the table with uh, Ross County and Hamilton being behind them uh, obviously they do have the two games in hand over the week but is that enough to turn them around at the state that they have been in in the past couple of weeks? There are a lot of players in that Motherwell site that should be doing well. Uh, I thought Tony Watts been a big improvement. Same with Seedorf, he's good. Declan Gallagher, he's always mainly really been good. Trevor Carson, their goalkeeper, and Stephen O'Donnell. These guys should be doing the work. They've also got Jake Hasty. In on loan right now from Rangers and they have a lot of depth in that side that they should be able to work with. Considering most of their players in the side I think could do the job. I think it's just a tough time for Motherwell and I think they've just had a bad run of form. Hopefully they can turn it around and uh, they've always mainly been a... Uh, uh, They've always mainly been a big club and they're the, I'd say they're the biggest club in Lanarkshire. Uh, they are uh, they are by far probably the biggest club in Lanarkshire out of the five teams that do play in Lanarkshire. Clyde, Airdrie, Albion Rovers, Hamilton and Motherwell. Uh, obviously, 
quite a big hop considering that they finished third to last season. But Stevie Robinson should uh, should have done better than what he's been doing right now. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. This Talking Scottish Football video has been quite short. Uh, I know there is a lot of... Uh, I hope that hopefully this uh, videos can get more views uh, and hopefully more people will start to come back and watch them because I, I've had uh, I've thought about a lot of time setting all these videos up and uh, I might start thinking of more content ideas and showing people how I make my videos. I know my videos are very minimal content and uh, I have a the thing that my videos are below average let's say but uh, i can get all my videos filmed and edited in under and uploaded in under 40 minutes which is quite good at the level that i'm on uh, obviously they are not the best let's say with content but hopefully we can get into the next one so please can you subscribe like the video turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload and um, obviously uh, this channel uh, I was also speaking to some people about the old firm game and I'm not too sure whether I can live stream the game I will update everybody on my Instagram tomorrow uh, but without further ado thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video bye guys so what happened with stephen robinson well he's had a bad run of form in recent weeks uh he had a shocking result versus uh kilmarnock yesterday they lost two nothing to kelly in uh for park yesterday it was a disgraceful result uh for motherwell and they're sitting 10th in the league right now considering that they finished third to last season it's rubbish i think a big blow for them was losing richard tate that was a massive blow because now they are sitting 10th with nothing to be saved uh they've got to do something they've got a big game coming up against hamilton who i think are sitting 11th right now it's a big game coming up and it's probably a must win for motherwell to avoid going down because motherwell are in a in a really really bad state at the minute with stevie robinson it's looking like it's, i thought i thought stevie robinson could have stayed and he could have saved the club i would say he's been the club's best manager since the turn of the decade eh, or since the turn of the millennium century at 2000 he's been by far their best manager he brought them to two cup finals in the one season he was a great man. I thought he was very good and he came in with a Motherwell side with not much hope. And he found guys out like David Turnbull, who's now at Celtic right now, who's, having, uh, who's brilliant at Celtic right now, up there for our best players. He's made some brilliant uh, players like Declan Gallagher, who's in the Scotland team right now. Um, it's a big, big... Uh, he's a big guy and he's uh, especially he should be getting more uh i think Declan gallagher should uh, be getting more game time in the scotland team i think he's very underrated and uh yeah that's the main thing so who is gonna save motherwell well a lot of people were saying tommy wright but i was thinking that tommy wright maybe but um yeah i'm not tommy wright Seems the man for the job, ex St Johnston. He won St Johnston the Scottish Cup. You may remember that in twenty fourteen. He's a great manager. Uh, I thought he was. He had a hard time at St Johnston, obviously.